Well, following his arrest this week on securities fraud charges, Martin Shkreli has resigned as chief executive officer of Turing Pharmaceuticals. I want to point out that the night before his arrest, he was live streaming himself on video, and he actually records himself hanging up on the FBI. We have a brief video clip. Take a look. I know better. Hello? Hello? Yes, hello. This is Special Agent Webb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They know. All right, Jose, he hangs up on the FBI. Um, is he punking us? What do you think about I this? I think he might have been punking us like an auto robocall, but at the same time, he might have been. He's such a douche that he might have the nerve to hang up on a current investigation that probably he knew that he was going to get arrested at any point. Right. What I'm, makes me really happy is that very, very, very soon I'm going to be able to call this guy for what he is, a criminal, instead of just a douchebag. Right. Uh, so far, nothing that he did uh, had qualified as a criminal behavior, but now this, this comes from the charges of running his company as a Ponzi scheme, and it's something that it comes from before the whole Dara Prim debacle. Mm -hmm. Well, he's been accused of repeatedly losing money for investors, and not only losing money, but lying about it to them, and then taking illegally taking assets to pay off debt. So he's he's had not the best track record of honesty with people. And the SEC, I want to point out that this was no short-term thing. It, it ironically coincided with all the bad press he was getting, but they had to have been investigating him for the, for the for a long time. You don't just come up with a laundry list like this overnight. Um, Chairman Ron Tillis of Turing, um, this is what he had to say. Of course, Shkreli has since resigned. We wish to thank Martin for helping us build Turing Pharmaceuticals into the dynamic research-focused company it is today. And we wish him the best of luck in his future endeavors. He's going so nice. to need that. Yes, so he definitely nice. has. Um, you know, not having the best week, five million dollar bond. He's been released. So. Just well, wow! It's, it's a lot of money. You can do that. You can do that. You can pay five million dollars, go back to being a douche. He he's always finding a way to stay on the on the new cycle. The two million dollar uh, Wooten Clan album purchase that he did, and now we see that he's trying to uh, salvage his reputation somehow. But I don't think he's, he's going to be able to do it this time. Mm -hmm. Well, last month he actually acquired a, a major stake in a different pharmaceutical company, and thus by extension became the CEO of that. So it'll be interesting to see if he is forced into resignation from other jobs that he has given this given the company this, that he yeah. wanted to do the exactly same thing the Dara Prim. he Calabios. wanted to take Calabios he wanted to take this drug that is uh, normally really really cheap and it's very useful in Latin America for Chagas disease <laughs> and send the prices to hundred thousand dollars a treatment uh, his, his move. Right. Well, the shares of that company fell 53% before trading was halted. And Martin Shkreli at the center of the news again. He's gone from pharma bro to karma bro.